In this video, we'll show you how to customize the lighting, buttons, and settings on your Vector RGB gaming mouse from Kinesis Gaming. Visit kinesisgaming.com to download the configurator app and then follow the installation instructions for your Windows PC. Click the desktop shortcut to launch the configurator app. If your vector mouse is connected, the app will indicate found device. If the app can't find the mouse, try replugging it or relaunching the app. The app lets you create up to five unique profiles. To load or edit a profile, simply select it from the top menu. To configure the RGB lighting on the vector, use the lighting tab. The vector has two programmable zones, the LED strip and the logo and scroll wheel. The strip can be set to perform three different RGB effects or a single color. If you want a single color, first choose static or breathe, and then select a color from our palette or use the mixer to create your own custom color. For further customization, choose the speed and brightness of the strip. You can also sync the strip with the logo and scroll wheel or disable it. To configure the second zone, click the logo and scroll wheel tab. The logo and scroll wheel can be set to one of two RGB effects, to DPI mode or disabled. If you want to create a custom DPI color, you'll need to use the settings menu. The vector has five pre-configured DPI levels. The sensitivity and color for each level can be customized by clicking the color swatch and number box. You can input any DPI level from 50 to 5,000 in increments of one. If you don't need all five levels, you can disable them with the toggle switch. To fine tune the vector's performance, dial in the report rate, acceleration, and scroll speed to your preferences. The vector supports a variety of custom actions that can boost your performance. To assign a custom action, click the Buttons tab. Choose from common keyboard actions, custom rapid fire actions, multimedia keys, DPI controls, and even macros. First, select the desired action, then choose the mouse button on the image to assign. To create rapid fire action, select the number of times you want the action to repeat, and then set the delay. Then input the keyboard action into the box or select the appropriate mouse click. Once you've selected the rapid fire action, just choose the mouse button you want to assign it to. To create a devastating macro, click Create Edit Macro. Macros can be recorded with three different delays. No delay, the recorded delay, or a fixed delay. Choose your desired delay and click Record. Then type out a short macro. When you're done recording, click the red button. Double click the text field to rename the macro something descriptive. When you're satisfied with your macro, click Apply. Your new macro now appears in the Macro submenu and can be assigned to any profile. To assign your macro, simply click it and then select the desired mouse button. If, at any point, you want to have a clean start, use the Reset menu. You can click Help to access the Vector Port page. When you are satisfied with your changes, toggle to the profile you want active and simply close the app. Your settings will be automatically saved to the mouse. To learn more, visit kinesisgaming.com.